I have an important information to pass to the jobless and the hopeless youths of Nigeria. You are suffering and smiling in Nigeria, but you are very comfortable to be called a Nigerian. You are hopeless and you are useless, yet you want to be a Nigerian. You want your nationality to be called Nigerian. Nigeria is not ready to give you water. Nigeria can never give you light. Nigeria can never give you accessible road. Nigeria can never do anything for, to you. Nigeria can never do anything for you. Even in so many years and you know, but you like the fact that you're still suffering and smiling. And the rest of you said over your dead body will be Afra come. Let me remind you, all the people that said over their dead body will be Afra come, they are all dead. What does it mean? That Biafra is a spirit. Spirit doesn't die. So since you said over your dead body will Biafra come, whatever you see, you take. You will sit down behind your phone and you will not do any other thing if not to be antagonizing people that are agitating for your freedom. All of you are going to suffer the wrath of God. All of you, because Nigeria will collapse. Nigeria will collapse. The collapse of Nigeria is inevitable. The total shutdown of Nigeria permanently is inevitable. There is nothing you can do or say about it. Your constant coming online to be talking on the phone, on the phone and trying to convince people to accept one Nigeria forcefully. It will never change the fact that Nigeria will collapse. I want you to know that. There is nothing that will make Nigeria to stand the test of time again. Nigeria will collapse. Stop wasting your time and your small data and your uh, resources to beg people to support one Nigeria. Because all your efforts will be in vain. That I am very sure of. My nationality will change. I know your nationality will change. Because those that believe in truth will have long life. And prosperity shall follow them afterwards. This is for Hope Uzodema, the governor of Imo State. Hope Uzodema, while you are busy looking for ESN in the bushes, your fellow colleagues, your fellow governor in the north are having serious negotiation with terrorists. Hope Uzodema, you say you unleashed the military to look for ESN. For what? What did they do to you? That, that they are in the bushes looking for Fulani Hess men. That are terrorizing our territory. And you hope who's on the map is looking for them with the military that is supposed to be in Sambisa Forest. Are you aware that Nigeria has serious security problem? And you think that the military, that where the military should be staying at the time you ask them to go to Imo State, is in our look to look for ESN? Hope who's on the map, are you aware that your fellow governors, your fellow governor said that not all bandits are criminals. Are you aware of that? I want Hope Uzodema to be reminded again that his fellow governor said that bandits should be, that, that, that bandits are tired, that they deserve to be listened to. Hope Uzodema, your fellow governor said that there is a reason why Fulani Hesmen are carrying AK 47. Your fellow governor said. That Fulani has men should be pampered in a country where you and I are answering one Nigeria. There are some set of people that carry AK-47. They should be pampered. Why the other set of people that are harmless kill them? And you are still forcing me to be a Nigerian. Believe me, God will punish you for saying that. I have never heard the northern governors come out to call Fulani Hesmen, Boko Haram, bandits, I have never had them call them terror group. But on countless occasions, have I had our evil governors, our supposed fathers, our supposed, uh, 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 our supposed to, um, leaders in the East. I have had them on several occasions calling IPOB, terror group, terror organization, ESM, their criminal group. But the northern governors are having serious negotiation in the north. They are even telling, they are even telling us that that bandits deserve to be granted amnesty. Amnesty for what? Amnesty that they have land. Wait, oh, 
I want to understand what they mean by amnesty. Are they, are they looking for amnesty because of their oil? Is it not the Nama that they have? Hope, are you aware that the governors of the North are advocating that the bandits should be given amnesty and you're looking for your own people to kill? David Omari, Hope, who's the man? If I knew him, will you be an Okay, see, Bazo, listen to me and listen good. You see this war that you all are calling for. This drum of war that you are beating, it will start in government house. There is one adage that said, he, there is one adage that said that every day is for the thief, but one day is for the owner of the house. He that fights and runs away will live to fight another day. I don't want you to be so excited because you feel you have military at your back. You have the army at your back. The evil governors, do not be overexcited because 1967, 2021 is not 1967. This is the era of social media. You are very comfortable killing your people and you're so happy about it. Why none of the northern governors are condemning or even saying that these headsmen should be apprehended? They even know their hideouts. Your fellow colleagues, they know their hideouts. This drum of war that you are hitting, he will not go. I am not go. Highest thing I will charge you. No single soul will remain again. Okay, see, are you hearing me? Hope who's on Are you hearing what I'm saying? You see this drum of war. Esther said, "If I die, I die. If I perish, I perish." This drum of war that you people are hitting, Nigeria will collapse in your hands. You see all this thing that is happening, my fellow beer friends. Please. You people should not get angry too much because I'm very angry. But when I look at it in the other way, I see it as a blessing in disguise. Nigeria will collapse in this governor's hands. You see these five eastern governors. Nigeria will collapse in your hands. Nigeria ga monakun. You think you are doing us. You are doing yourself. We don't want you to support us. We don't want you to love us. We love ourselves. But when we tell you that this country will collapse, in your eye, before your eye, it will collapse. I will watch the total collapsing of Nigeria. I will be alive and I will see the way Nigeria will be totally shut down. It will happen. That time people will run, but there will, there will never be a place to hide. The northern governors are having serious meetings with their bandits. Britain, this is for you. Britain, this is for you. The contraption that you created, Britain. The animal republic that you created. The gorilla republic you created. Are busy. Giving bandits and banditry presidential treatment. Britain. The country you created. Are having a serious negotiation with terrorists. Britain. The animal kingdom that you created that cannot give jobs to the youth. That in a million years to come will never give Nigeria steady electricity. The visionless and the clueless, the leaderless Nigeria doesn't have any leadership. There is no leader in the southeast. There is no leader in Nigeria in general. The contraption that you created, Britain, is killing us. They are seriously having a dinner party with bandits. That is to say they are encouraging our youth to join bandit and banditry business. Britain, the government of Nigeria is indirectly telling the youth that if you want to be listened to, if you want to be a millionaire, if you want to be a big boy, just join bandit business and there will be a good negotiation. They will sit down and beg you, pamper you, give you presidential treatment, give you convoy and escort. That you are carrying AK-47 in Nigeria means you are a big boy. That is what the, the evil country that you created. You forced us to come together and become one Nigeria. One Nigeria is killing our skin. Britain, the company you created, is killing us. And you must come and untie. You must come and untie this rubbish that you put together. Because Nigeria is total rubbish. Nigeria is a total disaster of humanity. 
the evil country you created is killing the citizens and they are seriously granting granting am amnesty. Are you granting amnesty? I'm very angry this morning. But I have to end this video by saying, my dear friend brothers, please do not relent. Thank you guys for watching. You had it all. He that has ears should hear. For Biafra is a spirit. It cannot be stopped, not be destroyed. Please subscribe to our channel, turn on the bell, and we'll see you on our next video. Bye-bye, guys. Bye.